Okay, ready? Heads up! Heads up! Heads up! Heads up! <laughs> heads up. <laughs> <laughs> So I made a mistake in the first sodium rocket video, so I, I wanna revisit that experiment. I didn't technically make a rocket because the power was coming from the launch pad and it wasn't coming from the rocket itself. So what I wanna do is borrow from this kid's experiment. You put water in a two liter bottle and then you compress the air with a bike pump. Then when you release it, the compressed air pushes the water out and the whole thing works like a rocket. The water is now inside these water balloons. So the sodium will go in here, I'll pop this balloon from a safe distance and then hopefully, hopefully. Red, do you have a color preference? Which would you like to see go for? Uh, the blue. The cool thing about this time around is uh, we, we're actually gonna be able to see the reaction happening inside the uh, inside the bottle. These are seven inch balloons. Uh, the 12 inch balloons are too big, we discovered. This is our launch pad, first rocket. I guess we should put the sodium in there. Think of that balloon in the first place. Is it like one of those chip in a bottle type situations? very cautiously. Mm -hmm. Putting a little bit of plastic wrap over the mouth, sometimes the sodium takes a second to react and I don't want all the water to be gone before before it has time to react. This is all based in theory though, right? <laughs> a little bit of knowledge and a lot of dumb luck. <laughs> this is a spring-loaded uh, clothes hanger, so we'll be over by the car, we'll pull this pin, and then this will go up down through the mouth and pop the balloon. Sodium water is gonna mix. All right, how high do you think it's gonna go? Uh, I wanna say 30 feet. I'm gonna say 50 if it doesn't blow up. So, so go ahead and get far. So how far away should I be? All right, three, two. Forgot about the engine. Whoa! Holy crap. So much cooler than I thought it was. Yeah, and it went really high. It was, oh, here it is. It's still got the smoke in there. Yeah. Look, breath. <laughs> I made four of these because I thought that it would probably char and burn through the side of the bottle, but this is good to go. Yeah, that was perfect. It took the, a water's, the water's on. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. That, that oh. was so good. I think that was the right amount of sodium. If you do any more, the bottle might explode. We lost a lot of water on that. If I hadn't put that plastic wrap on there. Mm -hmm. We'd lost it, more water? Well, yeah, and I don't think it, the reaction would have happened at all. You know, I need to make sure there's not sharp edges. Rocket number two is ready. I think we're there. Do you think you're gonna to wanna to put a GoPro on the rocket? I think we should. I think we should. This one's had a pretty rough <laughs> life. If we get the footage back, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Something like that? Yeah. Two, one. It hit right on top of the GoPro. <laughs> and it pushed stop with the ground. It, right, the slow mo missed it that time. All right, what that means is I missed it. Two I think more. I got caught up on the watching it and yeah. I never hit the button. What? I'll film it with slow mo on my phone. If you film with your phone at 120 frames, and then I film your phone with my phone, then they'll give us 200, 240 frames. Or does that multiply? 10,000 frames. We did all that math in our head. Rocket number three. Going for the thumbnail on this one, actually. Whatever the thumbnail is of this video is, this is how I got it. Think I got the thumbnail? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Look. There. Oh. Bam. What happened? Look. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. We're, we might be fine. Can you just put it, it back on? Blew the fin off. A little too much sodium. Man. I can't talk right now. It's a little pretty, too much water, maybe. I mean, a you're pretty. Sodium. You're pretty nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I am nervous. Look at the smoke moving across the pack. Still got some smoke. We got to figure out how to get the uh, the mouth of the yeah. bottle out of there. We're good. Ready?
Uh, so this fin came right at me. Surely this isn't all we're gonna have for the, to be able to like salvage. Here's what's left of the bottle. To be fair, uh, this was the first one that we did and we shot it again. This oh one. Oh my God. This, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look at it. Oh, there's the fin you already have. The reason I think these, uh, these last few have been exploding is the size of the balloon. There's a lot more water in here than those first, what, it was those first two that we did? Three or four, yeah. Air, on the other hand, is easy to compress. I can squeeze this and deform it, but I can't really do that to the water because water doesn't really, can't really compress water. The last few that have been exploding had larger balloons. There's not enough air that can uh, compress. It's blowing out too hard. I mean, because we were even using less sodium and it was still exploding. Does this not look like a microscopic atomic oh bomb? Oh my god. My See the shockwave hit the top yeah. of the bottle? Man, I wish we could have seen. I mean, my slow mo shows that it's like separating. So we've been looking for like the last 45 minutes. And we found we found the three fins. Found a little piece of the cap, but the cap is what holds all the fins on the end of the bottle. So if we found this, that means that the thing probably just came apart. This is where the, the, launch, the pad. launch pad was. Putting out some heat. <laughs> <laughs> we made a sodium rocket this time. The rocket propelled itself into the air. It wasn't coming from the launch pad, so yeah. mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. I'm bummed that we we destroyed our fins but I would say this wasn't their intended purpose. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See you in the next one.